우리 친구들 안녕. 오늘도 변함없이 하나님께 예배 드리러 온 여러분을 진심으로 환영해요. It's really good to see you guys in the place of worship. So before we start this worship, I am going to ask two questions to you guys. So first question, do you really love God? 우리 친구들 하나님을 정말 사랑하나요? If that answer is yes, then second question, is that love truly shown in the worship? 여러분, 하나님을 사랑하는 그 마음이 예배 가운데 드러나나요? You don't have to answer out loud, but the answer to the question will be shown through the attitude in the worship, in your worship. 그래서 오늘 우리 친구들이 예배드리는 가운데 정말 하나님을 사랑하는 마음을 듬뿍 담아 하나님께 정말 진심으로 예배드렸으면 좋겠어요. 그냥 막 딴짓하거나 누워 있거나 아니면 이곳저곳 돌아다니는 것이 아닌 정말 딱 앉아서 집중해서 하나님께 예배드리는 우리 친구들의 모습을 하나님께서 받으셨으면 좋겠어요. 우리 친구들 그러려면 오늘 예배를 드려야 될 텐데 그 예배를 기도로 시작할게요. 우리 친구들 두손 모으고 두눈꼭 감고 하나님께 기도하겠습니다. Everyone could. close your eyes, gather your hands and show your heart to the Lord. Let's pray. 사랑해 하나님 감사합니다. 오늘도 좋은 하루 허락하여 주심에 감사드립니다. 저희를 예배드릴 수 있는 하나님의 아들, 딸로서 불러주심에 감사드립니다. 저희 하나님을 정말 사랑합니다. 그리고 하나님께 영광 드리길 원합니다. 이 예배를 통해서 하나님께서 주시는 기쁨 또한 누리기 원합니다. 하나님 저희 예배를 통하여서 홀로 영광 받아 주시옵소서. 이 예배 가운데 저희와 함께 해주실 줄 믿사오며 이 모든 말씀 예수 그리스도 이름 받도록 감사하며 간절히 기도드립니다. 아멘.
we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Father, I thank you for all this care you've shown us. And first off, I'd like to start by praying for all of us who are affected by the pandemic. Uh, not only those who are personally affected, but all of us who regardless have to change our lifestyle from it. Uh, we've had various different kinds of suffering. We've had losses, perhaps. We've had difficulties and perhaps even hidden sufferings that we haven't shown to others, but you know all things, God. Uh, you know our heart, you know the solution, you know the cure. So just like you take 
care of the birds of the field, that they are fed, that they are clothed. Let's not worry about this and that, and trust that you will take care of us. Uh, please speak through the mouth of the pastor, but let us also become your mouthpieces, your lights unto the world. Not only to be content with listening, not only to be content with paying attention on Sunday, Especially during this time, when we cannot be physically, it's very difficult to keep ourselves dedicated, to keep ourselves loyal to you. Uh, but I think that this time is very important for us to reaffirm our faith. Not to do it because it's what our friends are doing, or because what our parents tell us to do, but that it's because it's a very personal relationship with you, Heavenly Father. And to take this time, I hope we can find that. Thank you to all for all that you have done, and pray for our safe meetings in the future. In your holy son's name I pray, amen. This is the verse for the May. He must become greater, I must become less. John 3.30, amen. Mary and Joseph's baby, God's own son, was a few days old when Mary and Joseph named him. Jesus, just like the angel had told him to do. When Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph wanted to obey God and his law. The law that God gave Moses said, when a woman's first son is born, his parents must dedicate him to the Lord. The law also said that the child's parents should give a sacrifice. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was at the temple. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted in God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. God's spirit was with Simeon, and God had told Simeon that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. That day, God's Spirit had led Simeon to the temple. Simeon saw Jesus and picked him up in his arms. God's Spirit showed Simeon that Jesus was the promised Messiah. Simeon was so happy. He praised God and said, Lord, you can let me die now. You kept your promise, and I have seen the one who will save people from sin. Simeon said that Jesus would save God's people, the Israelites, and Jesus would also save people from other nations. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what Simeon said. Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph. He told Mary that being Jesus' mother would be a very good thing, but it would also be very hard. Some people would love Jesus, but others would hate him. Things were going to happen that would make Mary very sad. A woman named Anna was at the temple too. Anna's husband had died, and Anna was very old. She stayed at the temple and worshipped God all the time. Anna came up to Simeon, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she began to thank God. Anna talked about Jesus to people who were waiting for God to keep his promise to send a Savior. She told them the good news. The Savior was here. Yeah. Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They obeyed God's law. Then they went back home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. Throughout the Old Testament, God promised the arrival of a king who would redeem people. When Jesus arrived, Simeon and Anna knew he was the promised Messiah. Today, we have faith that Jesus is God's son. We can trust Jesus for our salvation, and like Simeon and Anna, we should share the good news. Continuing on from the story of Jesus' birth, today we are going to talk about the dedication of Jesus soon after he was born. Few weeks after Jesus was born, his earthly parents, Mary and Joseph, brought him to the temple for his dedication. 
as they wanted to fulfill the law that was given from Moses, they offered two birds as their sacrifice for the dedication of Jesus. When they were at the temple for the sacrifice, there was a man named Simeon. He was the man who loved God so much so that he was having faith in God's promise about the coming of the Messiah. There was also a woman named Anna who stayed at the temple and worshiped God all the time. When Simeon and Anna saw the baby Jesus, they have recognized Jesus, the Messiah, and praised God for keeping his promise to send a savior. With all the praises that were received from God through Simeon and Anna at the temple, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus came back to their hometown, Nazareth. After that, Jesus grew as a healthy and wise young man by the blessing of God. Jesus came to this earth with obedience and humility to do the precious work of God. The dedication of Jesus tells us that Jesus was planned to fulfill God's great promise to save us, to save sinners. To know how valuable the precious dedication of Jesus, we must know one thing, and that is only those who love God and desire to be with God can truly recognize Jesus as the Savior. 하나님을 정말 사랑하는 자만이 정말 진정으로 예수님이 우리의 구원자이심을 예수님의 귀한 헌신이 얼마나 우리에게 중요한지를 알수 있어요. And we call that as spiritual discernment. 한국말로는 영적 분별력이라고 하죠. And that spiritual discernment is only allowed to those who genuinely, who truly have faith in God. We can see the example of spiritual discernment through Simeon and Anna in today's story. Then let's look at the scripture first. Please turn to book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 28 through 32. Turn to Luke chapter 2, verse 28 to 32. 우리 친구들 성경책 가서, 가져와서 성경책 펴고요. 누가 복음 2장 28절에서 32절까지 읽을 거예요. 누가 복음 2장 28절에서 32절이에요. 28절입니다. 시몬이 아기를 안고 하나님을 찬송하여 이르되 주제여 이제는 말씀하신 대로 종을 평안히 놓아주시는 도다 내 눈이 주의 구원을 보았사오니 이는 만민 앞에 예비하신 것이요 이방을 비추는 빛이요 주의 백성 이스라엘의 영광이니이다 하니 So verse 28 says Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Amen. The dedication of Jesus was decided in God the Father's hands. The dedication was one of the proofs that God shows his love to his people. Those who love God can find out God's love and will towards them. Simeon was a man who loved God so much. For Simeon, who was loving God all the time and seeking his will, God's Spirit 
reveal to him that the dedicated baby Jesus is the Messiah whom God promised. Also Anna, she worshipped God and always wanted to dwell in God. For God saw her heart, he also revealed the truth that the baby Jesus is a savior who would save them from the death. However, unlike Simeon and Anna, those who do not love God are spiritually blind and do not know how precious Jesus is to us. God opens the spiritual eyes of the people who want to genuinely, truly follow God. Through the spiritual discernment from the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna could praise God when they saw the promised Messiah, Jesus Christ. Then what should we do then when we see God's truth that Jesus is the true Savior, true Messiah? The question can be answered by our actions. Those who truly accept God's heart on the dedication of Jesus, they willingly walk the path of serving Jesus in any difficulty. 하나님의 헌신된 마음을 아는 사람들은 어떠한 어려움에도 예수님을 믿고 섬기는 길을 가려고 해요. Satan challenges those who try to walk God's way with what is around them. Satan also offers various temptations. It keeps us away from God by falsely saying, we don't have to go to church to worship, or I have so many things to do other than worship God, or even worshiping God is boring and bothersome. But that, those are not true. We must know this. There are numerous attacks from Satan, the devil, on the journey of faith to believe in God because Satan hates us to be saved. Satan hates our salvation. However, Mary and Joseph's determination in today's story, their actions, their determination shows us a good example of how we should make our minds to remain in close relationship with Jesus. Mary and Joseph must be sad and even like afraid or anxious when they hear from Simeon about living as Jesus' mother and father is a difficult life. Nevertheless, the reason Mary and Joseph could also dedicate their lives as the earthly parents of Jesus is because they know that God's will for Jesus is so grand, so huge and precious. Therefore, we who are attending this worship right now and who are loving God so much must have confidence believing in Jesus. Even though it is sometimes difficult to follow Jesus, we must walk the path with faith. For those who have this precious faith and determination, God will allow the wisdom to know Jesus more and also the strength to believe in Jesus. Dear J Dreamland friends, the dedication of Jesus is a precious gift to us. As we are called as a people of God, or Christians, we must believe and share the good news about Jesus, like Simeon and Anna. And also we must make up our mind to be close with Jesus, whatever difficulties may come. At that time, Jesus' dedication for us will come true 
and He will save us from our sins. Do you guys believe that? Amen. 우리 친구들 그러면 우리 또 설교를 기도로 마칠 텐데요. 다시 한번 우리 두손 모으고 두눈 감고 다시 한번 기도하겠습니다. Let's pray. 하나님 감사합니다. 하나님께서 하나님의 아들 예수 그리스도를 이 땅에 보내주시고 그 예수 그리스도의 헌신을 통하여서 우리를 구원하시고 살리심에 감사드립니다. 정말 그 예수님이 저에게 참된 구주임을 깨닫기 위해서는 저희가 더욱더 하나님을 알아가고 더욱더 하나님을 사랑해야 될줄 믿습니다. 하나님 저에게 귀한 마음을 허락하여 주시고 더욱더 그 우리의 구원자 되신 예수님을 알수 있는 마음을 허락하여 주세요. 하나님 감사합니다. 하나님 사랑합니다. 예수님의 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘 Here's the announcement. 광고 시간이에요. 이번 주는 5월 첫 번째 주로 이번 달에 생일을 맞은 친구들을 소개할까 해요. So here are the students who are having birthday in May. 권유라, 홍희수, 김하은, 권보라, 노미나, 강지우, 그리고 남기경 학생이에요. 우리 친구들에게 생일 축하한다고 한번 같이 말해줄까요? 생일 축하해요. Happy birthday. 그 다음 광고예요. 4월 성경 읽기표에 따라서 말씀 잘 읽었나요? 우리 4월 성경 읽기표를 다 읽은 친구들은 성경 읽기표를 사진 찍어서 각반 단톡방에 까먹지 말고 올려주세요. 그리고 오늘 선생님들이 5월 성경 읽기표도 나눠줄 거예요. 이번 한 달도 하나님의 말씀을 읽음으로 기쁜 하루를 매일매일 보내는 우리 친구들이 됐으면 좋겠습니다. 그러면 오늘 예배도 주기도 문송으로 마칠까 해요. 우리 친구들 한 주간 잘 보내고 우리 다음 주에 봐요. I will see you guys next week. Okay? Thank you guys. Bye.